they were expecting a luxury cruise through Southeast Asia. We're grateful we're not just sailing in circles on the ocean. Instead, coronavirus travel bans and port restrictions have prompted cruise operator Cunard to change course. After two weeks at sea, thousands of passengers and crew on board the Queen Mary 2 have arrived in Fremantle. To keep us safe, they um, decided not to allow us to go to any of the Asian countries. We haven't been off the ship for 14 days. And it's unfortunate, but I think most passengers are dealing with it fine. Uh, it's quite unusual to see a ship like Queen Mary 2 make uh, such a significant diversion from its world cruise uh, itinerary. These world cruises are planned years in advance, so to make a, a change like that in such short notice is a lot of work for the company and for the, the officers on board. It's an unexpected windfall for the local economy. I have lots of extra money to because uh, I didn't spend it in Southeast Asia. You cannot underestimate the importance of this sort of opportunity. We've been lobbying for a long time to have, I guess, a greater opportunity to allow cruise ship passengers to experience what we have to offer. The Queen Mary 2 will make two visits to Fremantle in less than a month. Its amended itinerary will take it through northern and eastern Australia before coming back here for its scheduled stop in mid-March. Another two cruise ships have changed their itineraries to detour to Fremantle next month. Francis Bell, ABC News.